Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. Before we start today's tutorial, it will be awesome if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can access over 600 free video tutorials. Don't forget to like, share and comment on this video. Make sure you watch the whole video until the end so you gain the skills and knowledge. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to compress PDF files. Ok, let's go ahead and open up the web browser and I'm going to go to this website, it's called Small PDF and I'm going to put a link to that in the YouTube description. I'm just going to drag this to the side so you can access this website. You can find a link in the YouTube description for this particular website. I'm going to open up this folder and I'm going to open up this PDF file. So if we look at this PDF, it's uh, let's just drag this to the side a little. We can see that it's 14.939, so it's almost 15 megabytes, right? If we have a quick look at this PDF, it's for a website I recently built. It's a brochure for this company and they're called Yield Gallery. So when we scrub through this brochure, we can see that it's got some nice pictures in there. Uh, it's quite a long brochure, it's about 20 pages, right? And if my client wanted to email this to someone, it will be quite a large file to send that 15 megabyte files. So we want to try and compress it down to maybe under 10 megabytes. So what we do is drag this PDF file into this software here. So just drag and drop it. And it's going to prepare to upload the file. So it shouldn't take too long to upload. So we just wait for that to upload. And then we'll get a few different options um, to compress this. And I'm going to show you those options. So let's minimize this for the moment and we'll max this out. And you can see there's a pro version and then there's a basic compression. So if we click basic compression, uh, it's 8.75 megabytes. And if you want uh, to pay for this software, you can do a pro version compression and it will come all the way down to 3.65 megabytes. But I think 8.75 should be fine. It's under 10 meg. So we'll click choose this option. It's going to prepare that document and compress it for us. So it shouldn't take too long. It's about 20 pages. And then we can see the document here. So we can see a preview of that document, what it's going to look like. And the pictures still look pretty decent. So we can click the download button here. Let's click download. And now we've got a compressed version of our file. So let's just drag and drop that into this folder. And let's just put them side by side. So in fact, it was just over 10 megabytes. Just over 10. It says compressed at 9.91, but sometimes these numbers are not always 100% accurate. But we've managed to get it down by almost one third of the size but we also want to retain some quality there right if you start to compress too heavily then the images start to get blurry and it doesn't look that great so we still want to retain some of the the clarity inside of the pictures uh, and still make things make sure things look good on the page and the pictures still look good so i think that's a good compromise at around 10 meg i think that's perfectly fine so that's how you go about compressing your pdf files if um, your document has less images and has less sort of like high res quality images then you can expect your file to be much much smaller it happens to be this file is 10 meg in size because it has a lot a lot of visual content in there you can see there's a lot of lot of graphics and a lot of pictures um, and that has a lot of weight to the to the actual file itself right the images add a lot of weight so we can see we can zoom in and it's still pretty clear so i think that's a, a good compromise so that's how you go about compressing a pdf file using smallpdf.com website so i use that not very often but i use that sometimes when i need to compress down a document especially if i want to email it to someone that's quite a nice free and simple way to do uh, pdf compression okay so hopefully you find this tutorial useful that's the end of this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial